Daryl, welcome to Stagnum and Redbridge. Just happy to excited to be here. I'm delighted to be here and yeah, looking forward to start getting started now. And just tell us a little bit about what attracted you to this job. I think um, the ambition in the club. Um, the club want to get back into the football league. It's got some very good players here. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a club that's ambitious, I'm ambitious. I think we can probably grow together. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting started, as I said. And what sort of style of play will you be looking to implement um, as you come in here? Well, I want my team to be aggressive, to be in the front foot, um, to take ownership of the ball, to go and get the ball and play, um, create chances. I want my team to be exciting. Um, so we look to implement that as quickly as we can. And aside from that, what, what would you say the fans of this club will be able to expect from a team headed by you? Committed, um, fit, organised, and um, hopefully exciting to watch as well. And you of course have playoff experience at national league level. How important do you think that can be for a club like Everton and Redbridge? The aspirations that you say we have. I think it can be important. Yeah, I think I've been I've been through three playoff campaigns at Ipswich. Um, the first year we lost on penalties in, in the final. The, the, the second year we went up, and then we lost the Champions semi final in my first year in the national league. Um, so you've got experience. Just players here that have good experience in playoffs as well. I think it's important that you have, have people in the building that know what, what it feels like to be in them situations. So hopefully that can help, but I think first and foremost we need to slide ourselves away from our own table now and look at it later on. And as you mentioned, obviously some poor, some poor form as of late. Um, how far away do you maybe see this team from being from a good run? Looking at them in training today, I think we've got some very good players. Um, a good pace, good energy, some good quality, some good leaders. Um, I think it's you know organising that. Giving it confidence again as well, because confidence always gets knocked you know, when it comes to football. So we've got to instill that into the team very, very quickly. And then see where we can go from there. And so you'll be in the stands for the Tokyo United game at home tomorrow. Um, for a week of training next week and then ahead of a tough trip to Notts County next weekend. Um, how important do you think next week will be in getting in, meeting all the players properly and getting to know maybe what your strongest team will be? Yeah, I'm looking forward to Monday morning. Of course, the farm's looking forward to tomorrow. I think uh, Tokyo is a big game. And the lads at Ontario and uh, Jolly got team ready for that for tomorrow. And um, I'm looking forward to watching that. And then Monday morning I'll we'll start with me taking training and, and I look forward to that's kind of him. And you of course already know the current captain Kenny Clark um, from your time at Ebbsfleet. Yeah. How important do you think it is to have a figure like Kenny in the building? Yeah, I think he's a, he's a terrific player. He's a terrific leader. He's a, he's a, he's a good bloke. I think Kenny first and foremost. Um, I played with him at Ebbsfleet and then I was his manager at Ebbsfleet and he's been a terrific player for me at Ebbsfleet. And, um, I'm looking forward to talking with him again. And just finally to end on, is there anything that you'd say to the Daggers fans um, as you enter your time here? Um, support the team. We will work hard. We will give everything we've got. The, the coaching staff, the players. I can guarantee we'll be a fit and organised team and, and I'll help you play some good football as well. Mm -hmm.